Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire. How do I build a system that maintains my spiritual growth and maintains my spiritual fire? Most of us rise up today and go down tomorrow. We are not able to sustain that spiritual momentum. Do you know why? Because everything that has to do with our spiritual life is based on emotion. Please look at me. How many of you know that if you depend on your emotion to read your Bible, if you depend on your emotion to pray, if you depend on your emotion to go to church, you will not do any of that. Is that true? What is the system you have put in place for your Bible study? What is the system you have put in place for consistent prayer? Anybody who tells you prayer is comfortable and convenient lie to you. Prayer has nothing to do with emotions. You have to create a system that not even your emotions can easily tamper with. Hallelujah. Imagine with me that I come up here on Sunday and I say, ladies and gentlemen, um, I know you love me and I love you too, but I want to be very honest with you. Today we are just going to pray in tongues and sing because... Um, I needed to sleep I've, I've, I've been traveling around and I'm so tired and I don't have anything to tell you I thank you for coming here since 10 o'clock in the morning and since 8 30 struggling for space and sitting down and uh, come again may the Lord bless you I'm sure that after two or three weeks I'll be prepared how how irresponsible will that sound now don't you know that I live a busy schedule and yet not even you will excuse me for that carelessness why because preparing my sermon to make sure god's people are built has been systematized are we together now i don't allow my emotions to prepare sermons i will fail miserably there are many meetings that line up before me and so there are systems there are time periods where i'm about studying and preparing whether there is rain whether i am tired i can pamper myself afterwards but as far as that is concerned I must be instant in season and out of season. Someone shout amen. amen. Please look up. Our parents, many of us here, our parents and our elderly ones here used to practice a system called morning devotion. Is that true? Now, that didn't seem to be a system that um, some of them would not pray in tongues for one hour nor finish their Bibles cover to cover. But notice that every time they woke up, the first thing they did, their Bibles will usually be at the side of the bed. Is that true? And because of that, they were in contact with Scripture every day for 50 years. 41 years now some of us have come as zealous people who love the lord you can pray for eight hours one day and not pray again till after three weeks you can study the bible emotionally trying to finish 15 chapters in one day and then leave your bible alone then repent after two months when you hear a message like this and go back again everybody says systems please look at me you can never become spiritually alive and robust allowing your emotions to define the level of your spiritual commitment do you know why many many people who work in corporations and in the civil service no matter how res respectfully speaking how um, um, how draggy they are they are still able to maintain that because there is a register that you sign in when you come in is that true and they will query you there is a supervisor waiting for you so you can return home by 12 even attend the vigil sometimes end by four or five and as tired as you are you know your salary is at stake your job is at stake there are bills to pay it will fuel the energy you will stand up and bath and be on your way systems are supervisors they supervise compliance you must create a system around your spiritual life. 
what is the system you have built to make sure you study the bible every day and for some of us when it has to do with bible study that is even a discussion for another day because you get up and there is no definition as to what you are becoming today you just feel like um let me read proverbs i'm not in the mood for any history you just open proverbs chapter one and with sleep in your eyes you'll be reading the same verse for 20 minutes you think you have finished it you will come back read it again because there is no system and then the next day you read john chapter 2 and then when you wake up and stumble across a message online and it fires your spirit you quickly go back to revelation read something small on rapture you don't grow that way your growth is not methodical this is the reason why respectfully speaking we have many people who go to church but there is no growth because people do not grow methodically some of our parents who would read five chapters according to that devotional gradually gradually they may finish their bible in five years six years it may not be so much relative to your passion and your press but it was systematized can i tell you this if you have not outgrown um if you have not outgrown being guided to read a scripture by designing your own structure go back to it in fact i don't have a problem with devotionals they are a healthy start and they can help you of course in truth you will need more than that if you really want to press to certain dimensions but it is it is fair enough for you to start Someone met me and said, Apostle, I need to grow spiritually. And I confess that my study of the word and my prayer is not, I'm not really benefiting. I'm not really growing. How can you help me? This is what I told the person as a recommendation. I said, every message that is preached here in Koinonia, let that be your study for that week. At least start from there. So you listen to the message and you use it for Bible study. You use it to build. Now you settle down and look at the scriptures. If you even just focus on what is being taught per week, many of us have almost everybody's message in the world. You have everybody's devotional, but you have not listened to any of them. When we go to your library, there are books from even generals that are long gone, and you will impress us by what is in your library, but you've not even read up to 1% of it. You will not grow that way. Say in the name of Jesus, I obtain grace to maintain my spiritual life by systematizing my approach please look up there are some of you here you cannot pray for one hour every day now the the value of prayer is not in the timing the value of prayer is in the efficiency and the fellowship but then timing is a discipline that can help you believe me when I tell you this some of you don't have the discipline to wake up in the night use an alarm clock an alarm clock is a system oh apostle it's an embarrassment to my discernment please use it save yourself all this pride for nothing and get a good alarm clock if you plan to wake up by two o'clock let it start by 1 30 so you can struggle for 30 minutes whatever it is you can be sure that by two you are awake it's a strategy can i tell you this the days that are coming will depend on your spiritual health man of god the ministry that you run cannot rise beyond your spiritual health that is the truth koinonia if my prayer life is just one hour you will not grow i assure you at this level of my life it's not pride if i pray for only one hour praying for you what god has done will i finish saying thank you in one hour There are many homes here that don't that don't have a system for their spiritual upkeep respectfully speaking don't feel bad we're dealing with systems and structures anybody who feels like praying in the house just calls for prayer and then everybody just respects it you can't grow that way the home needs to have a system whether it's in the morning or night or both so that any visitor who comes to stay with you meets an existing system so people don't ship in babylon to your house and come and destroy your home when they come and meet a system they will respect it 
in this house by six o'clock we wake up well in my father's house i wake up by nine i respect you but you may have to comply with what is available now six o'clock let's begin to pray father we thank you and everybody is praying in the house how about bible studies i'm sorry to say it but did you know that many children do not learn about god from home they don't build character from home because there is no system for that Our society continues to be destroyed today because we are hoping that religious educational and governmental institutions will do the work that family should start no systems the reason why you are well nourished is because there is a system subconsciously you know that there will be breakfast lunch and dinner for some of us who fast you look at your loved ones those days when when we really started learning the things about fasting in the seminary we would they would combine the breakfast and lunch nobody eats it just because you are fasting length period will come and go but by night that revenge mission the breakfast in the morning and the lunch and dinner if anybody touches your breakfast or your lunch because you are spending time with god when you are back from that mountain you will now flog it out with them some of you are like that they go to the kitchen whose food is this is my own leave it there i'm fasting <laughs> even the gifts that visitors bring the yam the fruits leave it there once it's 5 30 as you are praying in tongues you are strolling around the kitchen six on the dot <laughs> hallelujah now look at me please look at me how many of you here have a system for your renewal with god most of you do not have a system for retreats you don't even know what retreats are respectfully speaking some of you how can you as a leader even a spiritual leader not have a system of retreat it's not only when you have an attack that you need a retreat out of the seven days in a week what is the strategy you have put in place to make sure your fire is not lost monthly do you have a strategy quarterly do you have a strategy during your birthday what happens i just know that people celebrate me uh-huh spiritually don't you know that that is a defining moment in your life those days in zaria we used to practice it and even train people that your birthdays were very prophetic seasons in your life you will see people go on fasting three days four days to their birthdays they can celebrate only when they've sorted destiny with god but today as simple as that was many people encountered god and found purpose please return return in the name of jesus christ this is not just entertainment many of you this is what started depleting your spiritual life you are a man of god the fire you used to command before was because maybe you were on campus or where you were you were around fellow believers so there was a system of check and balance now that you are alone your prayer life gone down everything gone down is why when most people finish from campuses they become a shadow of themselves you know why because respectfully speaking in campus there are fellowships there is always something to do and there is someone to watch around your life but now you are an administrator now you are doing some other things everybody says systems you must create a system for bible study this night whether it's a topical study whether it's study book by book whether it's through the use of devotional make up your mind don't wait and say apostle why don't you do it and be giving us every day go on, i'm teaching you here so that you will go and find it and study don't stay on to be over pampered like that you have to take responsibility spiritually forget about acquisition acquisition is tertiary the primary goal of lifting Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be concentrated. Let your mind be. Holy God's fire!